Oh. You do Today I am going to demonstrate the states of matter and chemical and physical changes. The, par the first state of matter is solid. The particles are solid are tightly packed together and cannot move freely with one another. An example of a solid is wood. Mm -hmm. The second state of matter is liquid. The particles in a liquid are more, more, loosely, more loosely packed together and can move freely, more freely than in, than in a solid. An example of a liquid is vinegar. The third and final state of matter is gas. The particles in gas are very far apart from each other can move completely independently. An example of gas is steam. Please note that the steam is hard to view on camera. Oh. What are you doing? Okay. To change something from one set of matter to another, you either have to make it colder or warmer. One example of this is freezing the vinegar. The vinegar is now solid. Oh. What are you doing? Go. Today, a physical change is when a substance's physical properties are changed, but the substance itself stays the same, such as splitting a piece of wood. Remember, accidents can be dangerous. To make sure no one gets hurt, I have asked a certified professional to split the wood for me. Hey. A chemical change is when a substance, when the substance itself is changed into another substance, like burning a piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Whoops. <laughs> Don't show them. Thank you, Mr. Professor. <laughs> Changing substances from one state of matter to another is a physical change. For instance, if I hold my glasses up to the steam, the steam will condense onto my glasses into water. One last chemical change. Let's see what happens when I put this baking soda into this vinegar. Oh. Thanks for watching.